Hey guys, welcome back to Six Sister Stuff. Today I'm making a creamy macaroni and cheese that you're not gonna wanna miss. So my name is Kristen Hills and every Sunday my sisters and I, we share an instant pot recipe with you guys. But because of Corona, we're, I am still filming on my own. Hopefully next month in June, you'll be able to see some other smiling faces. Now with everything going on, sometimes there's ingredients that are hard to find and right now we can only buy one package of a specific meat and so it's kind of hard to make a lot of different meals with a lot of different meat. So I thought I'd share with you a meatless meal that everyone is going to love. So if you guys are ready, let's get cooking. Now my noodle of choice today is small shell noodles. So you just need one pound of noodles. Then you're gonna put them in the bottom of your Instant Pot. You're gonna take your pot and fill it just until the noodles are covered with water. Next, go ahead and put your lid on. Make sure it's sealed correctly. Now if you have a knob, you wanna turn it to sealing, not venting. Next, you'll push manual or pressure cook button and go to four minutes. Now after a few seconds, it will stay on. That means you're good, you can walk away. Now after the four minutes, you can turn the knob to release it, but just beware with pasta, sometimes it makes a giant mess. So you can turn it back and forth, releasing the pressure slowly. Once all the pressure's out, go ahead and lift the lid up and your pasta should be done. Now I didn't need to drain any water because there was no water left to drain. So go ahead and mix up your noodles before you add the other ingredients. So first I'm gonna add about eight tablespoons of butter. I like to use salted butter, that's my favorite in macaroni and cheese. Next, you're gonna add about a half a cup of milk. Now we're gonna add a little bit more, but right now we're just gonna add half a cup. Then we're gonna add two cups of sharp cheddar white cheese. Did you hear that? Sharp cheddar cheese, it is amazing. And then about a half a cup to a cup of shredded Parmesan. So now it's time to just mix everything in. So slowly, gently mix it in. Now it'd be easier to push the saute button just to get it warm or warmer on the bottom to melt your butter faster and to melt your cheese faster. Now because it is really cheesy, you wanna make sure to add just a little bit more liquid just so you can make it creamy, not so chunky cheesy. So I added a half a cup more of milk. Then you're just gonna continue mixing until all of your butter is melted and all of your cheese is mixed together. Now you can add just a little bit of salt and pepper. I just like to add salt in my mac and cheese and then go ahead and mix that in as well. Now when you're all done, your cheese should be nice and creamy. This is how we like it. Now when I serve it, I also like to add just a little bit of Parmesan cheese on top. And there you have it. Thanks so much for joining me today. Now, if you want more meatless meals, you can check out this video right there. And I will see you guys next Sunday. Bye.